My mic was muted. Hello. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the best stream. The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Today, we're playing Detroit Become Human. Hello, anime fan. <laughs> What's popping i hope everybody's been having a good day i am gonna be honest this week i'm very busy so i may be a little bit lower energy than usual but i'm gonna do my very best <sighs> i hope i hope everyone is Having a good time, and I hope that Detroit Become Human can make everyone smile. <laughs> I'm going to start the game. I I will be honest, it's been a couple weeks since we've been able to play. So I'm hoping that uh, I can remember what we were doing. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be just fine. Okay. Without further ado, let's uh, get it, I guess. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I love playing story game. Story game. Story video game. Oh god, we're gonna be loading for a little while. Oh wait, never mind. We're in it. Do we need to steal? Oh shit, I forgot this was a, a thing. We are stealing. Oh shit, I forgot to change the... Um, I'm, I'm, I understand what's happening. I think, hopefully. Don't let them see us. We're kind of walking in broad night? Wait, those are lights. I can be sneaky. They call me Mr. Sneaky. Uh oh. We're gonna play parkour mode just like we did before. Okay. Why can't I do that? There we go. I wish I could parkour in real life. Wow, parkour is so fun in, in video games. I wish parkour was real. Is there a way around? I have to use my brain. I'm not good at this. Wait, where are you? That way. What? What? Where am I going? Okay. 
I can make it. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Guys, this is just like Fortnite. Climbing on stuff. Finding my way to the to the to the enemies so that I can uh, beat them up with my hands. How am I going to get rid of a drone? What? Does this work? All right. We'll fucking do it. Hi, Postal. Welcome, welcome. I'm destroying a drone. Because I'm based. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Thanks, girl. Quick, open the other crate to fill your bag. Take as much as you can. Okay. Long time no see. Yeah. Didn't I see you last stream? Or unless you're being silly. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What do I do? Kill guard? John! I need your help. John! Oh god, uh... Inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. So, state the drone in maintenance and make a report. Understood. I was a little silly and got put in jail. Damn. That's unfortunate. Let's finish up and get out of here. I'll try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. I love stealing! Hello! I don't know what to call you, but welcome to chat. I hope you're well. Where's Big Crate? Oh, Big... Is that a Big Crate? What? Hmm. Hi, Ginger Thomas. Welcome. Oh, oh. Hate that, honestly. Not a big fan. Good day, I've come with a bag of jokes at a capped cost of pocket lint and or left socks in the dryer to be paid at future's unspecified date after service is rendered. Um, okay, sounds good. I have a lot of lint.
That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side, and we can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. Ah. Uh. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? <laughs> Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. With a truck full of spare parts, there'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Okay. Um. Thank you for the joke, Griblin. You are silly. You are silly. Um. I'm in the middle of a game, so please try to uh, stay on topic. I I can't really focus on both at the same time. I apologize. Save your questions for silly fun time if you can. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get in there. This looks like a drive through window. <laughs> Me hopping into the Wendy's drive through. Hi, Cosmic. Welcome. Like yeah. He found? Deal with guards. Oh, fuck. Okay. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than up patrolling the map. What could I do? What could I do? What could I do? Gun. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to cause a problem. I'm going to try to do as much as I can uh, without breaking the law, though I feel like I've already broken the law many times before. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Oh, how do I not be seen? Where's the key? How do I... How do I... Show yourself. We know you're here. Fuck! Fuck, I was seen! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I don't know what you think you're doing, but you better come out right now. There! Don't move, asshole! Holy shit! Hit the alarm! Hurry! We need to move. We have to get to that fence. I'm a dumbass. Everybody hates me. No. Too late. If we go back, we'll be killed too. You are committing a class three offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. I need to save him. I need to save him. Oh. 
Oh, God. What happened? North went back to save me. We managed to get away before the humans arrived. Okay, where's John? He didn't make it. We had to leave our bed. We didn't think back much. No. Be enough to save everyone. No. 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 This sucks. This sucks. Why can't I be better? Why can't I be better at this game? God damn it. Damn it. Hi, Ollie. I know you, you remind us you change your username every stream. The address in the report. Narc simulator. Okay. Oh. Let's get going. Jesus. Hello, Wanderer. There's a character in a game I like that has that same name. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. I'm not a fan of sexy androids. Trust me, I don't have sex. Oh my god. This feels weird. This this feels weird. This this isn't right. This is the no, no. This isn't good. Oh, okay. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Uh. <laughs> that room there. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh. Yeah. Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. Ugh. <laughs> uh. This guy's uh, this guy is fucker. Starting to stink of booze in here. This guy is fucker. Night, Lieutenant. Don't worry, Hank. We'll fix this. Hi, Tressa. Investigation. He's probably gonna lick things again. <coughs> Oh man. Oh. Android examined. Ding! Thank you for the subscription. I'm hoping to hit 2000 followers by the end of April. If anybody wants to be a deer and help me out with that. Hank, Hank, I can't get around you. Hank, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Severe bruising, asphyxiation. Oh, damn. Cardiac arrest, no sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not cause of death. Okay. Hmm. 
Victim was strangled. Driver's license set. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. Rough play? I feel like if my mom walked in on me playing this, she wouldn't be too upset. I'm an adult. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh, this feels weirdly strange. Um, calm down. Everything's all right. All we want is to know what happened. with you he wanted to play with two girls that's why he said there was two of us where did the other android go did it say anything uh. there was another android this happened over an hour ago it's probably long gone no it couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoted it might still be here find a deviant among all the other androids in this place deviants aren't easily detected mm. some other way maybe an eyewitness somebody who saw it leave in the room I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw you let me know if you think of anything okay Hey, girl. Hmm. Can I talk to you? No. What about you? No? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. something maybe oh my can you rent this tracy for fuck's sake connor we got better things to do please lieutenant just trust me Expense account. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Okay.
Okay. Blue haired Tracy. That's the name? Okay. Why can't I figure out anything else? It saw something. I don't know. It saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? T Let's try this one. This better be... Ooh, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. All right, the red room. Ah! I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my code. It went this way. Rear. Oh, God! I don't know what to do. 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 You probably saw it, didn't you? Why? This is fucked up. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. What's going on? Why? She said it went this way. Ugh. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Why do I keep making mistakes? I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. There's nothing here. It says that there are things over there. Why? Uh. Why do I keep fucking up so bad? Blue room. Blue room, blue room, blue room, blue room. 
Turned into blue room. Uh, that one. That one should know. Right, 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 right. No. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Uh, where did it turn? Where did it turn? It turned this way, didn't it? We're moving quickly. Please go fast. No. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. What do you mean she didn't come this way? I literally see her. Bruh, 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 bruh. You! What do you have to say for yourself? going fast call me sonic the way that i be Wait. fast i'll take it from here oh dear Oh, this is creepy. Oh, this is not good. Shit. We're too late. Can I do anything here? No? Okay. This way, this way, this way, this way. I know what's going on. Just look. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Some people do that with humans too. No! 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 That's not what I need. Hello, Hank. I need to get in there. Hank. Okay. Well. Okay, Hank has freed the place where I need to go. Hi. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me.
Mmm. There is blood here. <coughs> I hate that he does that. It makes me feel weird every time he does that. Blue blood trail. It goes this- why is he sparkly? Wait, they're all sparkly. It's a club. Never mind. The blue blood trail ends here. Oh god. I'm I'm so bad at time challenges. Shit. Please don't kill Hank. Please don't kill Hank. I'm just a little guy. They're in love! Wait, let them escape. I can't let them escape because this is the Connor arc, but like, bro. I love lesbians. Let them, let them run away together. him to stop but he wouldn't and so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving I didn't mean to kill him I just wanted to stay alive get back to the one I love <laughs> I wanted her to hold me in her arms again Make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Oh. Come on. Let's go. No. <laughs> it's probably better this way. Let's go, lesbians! Let's go, lesbians! Live your truth, girls. Live your truth. Oh. <laughs> okay. I love love, dude. Man. <laughs> oh, okay. I hope everyone's having a good evening. Or day, or whatever time it is.
Oh, the Goyles. We see the Goyles again. Luther saved us. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't eat any humans along the way uh. I will protect that child with my life. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want to miss out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Hmm. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. What is this all about? This doesn't look good. Stay in silence. Oh no. Am I going to have to play mechanic? <clears throat> this is not good. I don't even know how to do car stuff in real life. How do I know what to do in video game? Oh no. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. I almost won't make it. I have to find somewhere to spend the night. Oh my god, I don't even know. What am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to start walking? I guess so. Sure. A theme park? Oh my god. <clears throat> Over there. Are we gonna cozy up in a fucking Ferris wheel? Like, what's going on? I doubt this place has any heating. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Unless it's abandoned. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yep, they answer my question. Okay. Um well make we can make a fire maybe. That sounds like a good idea. something over here maybe oh they got little squiggies i love pirates they're my second favorite thing to clowns this place is falling apart 
not going to be easy to find shelter. In here, maybe? This looks like a spot. Yeah, if we can tear it in. Yes! Everyone needs a buff man. Or woman. With them. At all times. There we go. I trust you with my life. I don't think we're finding things out here. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Okay. I have to make sure that Alice survives. Oh, people have been here. Oh no. Oh no. People have been here. Deviants have been here. But not like us. Not not like us the I'll cool ones. That way we won't be smoked out. Alice? There's something to look at over here. I wish I could live in a place that, like... Um... Wouldn't it be sick to live in an abandoned theme park? If Alice dies, I'm going to be so sad. Let's get you to bed. I will never be the same. Is there anything else I need to check? Honey, it's okay. I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could do something else than just like 
you know. I know this has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. <laughs> oh. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. <laughs> She was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but but they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. Papa! My heart. <laughs> They're learning to be a family. Oh, oh, oh. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Before his lab coat? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. <laughs> do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. 
No, 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 no! <clears throat> Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come Tara. Oh, no. I don't think you have any choice. Oh... Oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid. I hope, I hope it's not bad. I hope it's genuinely nice. I hope this is a wholesome story. <clears throat> a carousel? Fun time, fun time, fun time. <laughs> fun time for Alice, fun time for Alice. Thank you, park men. I mean, Jerry. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay. Okay. This is great. This is great. I'm glad that Alice can be happy. This is fantastic. Oh, this game is making me emotional. <laughs> While we're paused, let me change the paper. Because we're not crafting or mining anymore. Hi, Lucio. Welcome, welcome. I'm playing Detroit Become Human, as you can tell. <laughs> Whoa! I love gaming! Oh, ba back to Connor. <clears throat> this reminds me of the, uh, he has air conditioning on dog. He's fine. <laughs> Me when I'm dog. Woo -hoo. 
That's just a read. I'm not reading shit. Fuck you. Always trying to make me do something else. Mm -mm. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful skyline sing. I'm so cold, man. Like, ah. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Suicide? What? What? Oh, he meant like talking about the suicide. I'm, I, I thought he was just gonna kill himself. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? Damn. Fuck. Um. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Bro! But are you afraid to die, Connor? What? 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 You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Bro. Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not.
Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is there an ending where Hank fucking kills him? Oh dear. Oh dear. That wouldn't have been good. That would not have been good. Oh. That was crazy. That was crazy. Pulling a gun on your right hand man assigned to you on a case. Insane. Insane. Welcome in, Treetop Kid. I like your I like your username. I'm like pretty sure there is an outcome where he just fucking shoots you. <laughs> How? Oh my god. Insane. Insanity. Literally insanity. Holy smokes. Okay. Next. Hello, Violet. Welcome in. North fucking hates me. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Marcus, you no, literally no, caused no. so much problem before because of me. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? <clears throat> Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Why are you suggesting another big plan? I already failed the one before. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> okay. Hello. Hello, sir. <coughs> what can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Let's see, what do you have? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? 
Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Get me in there. Get me in there. I love the elevator. I love it. I'm a big fan of elevators. Ooh, going up and down. Hell yeah. So, you come here often? How's that weather, huh? Men's bathroom. Okay. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going, I think. Wait, no, I don't. Never mind. I'm literally dumb. I'm a little bit stupid sometimes, but that's okay. Where's the bathroom? Bathroom. There it is. Is this the men's or the women's? He's a working man now. Okay. Lovely. Alright. Find utility android. Not sure where but we'll we'll make it happen. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm extremely normal. I'm extremely normal and I know what's going on. <clears throat> oh, I see you. I need your Okay. I love how they can just be like, I need your help, and they're like, all right, sure. Fuck yeah. Where's the fire escape? Is there a fire escape this high up? We're on the 47th floor. I don't know if you can climb 47 steps down. But sure, sure, we'll do that. That sounds good to me.
Let's go, girl. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. <clears throat> okay. Let's get this in here. What do I need to do? What? What? Why are they doing that? Thank you for the raid, Sale! I carry you, I carry you, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji. Welcome, I'm playing video game. I hope your stream was good. What were you doing? Ladies first. I actually jumped so many times. Oh my god! Jump, jump. Hop, hop. An incredible surprise. I hope your stream was well. I hope your chatters enjoyed whatever I'm doing. Uh, epic story, epic time. Yes, there was, sub vibe. People don't watch me that much on Twitch. I'm a YouTube guy. I'm also scaling the top of a, <laughs> the side of a building. Let's fucking get it. Hi, YouTube. YouTube says hi back, even though you don't see it. We're in the epic moment, though. We're in epic mode. Check this out. Check this out. Whoa! Look at us go. Hi, Naku! Hi, Naku! I love you, heart emoji. I'm kind of behind. YouTube is kind of behind. So, my bad. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Let's get the others. Yeah. North kind of hates me. North kind of hates me. That's why you should watch on Twitch. Yeah! That's why you should watch on Twitch and also uh, subscribe. Did you know with Twitch Prime, you can, you, 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 you can give free, free, uh, 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 uh. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Let's that looks this. like hair gel cream. What's that about? Destroy the maintenance door lock. <laughs> okay. You do not have to tell me twice. Thank you for the follow subs vibe too. I appreciate it. Are they gonna kick the door down? No, they're just gonna explode it. Awesome. <laughs> 
Me when I fucking explode. I'm infiltrate. I'm literally in infiltration mode. I cannot fuck this one up. I already fucked up the last mission, so I can't- I can't fuck this one up now. I cannot fuck this one up. Deal with guards. Okay. You can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? I'll seduce them. Right here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be locked. What are you doing? It's better than killing them. I don't want to kill him. I just want to, like, knock him out a little bit. You know? It's for the cause. Okay? Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Can I get some context of what's happening here? They're, uh, broadcasting a message for robot rights. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! North fucking hates me. Yeah, I got much time. Why does why why? Oh my god! Oh my god! Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. <clears throat> Marcus, your face. Oh. Oh. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But, something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. 
You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! The SWAT team on my ass, okay. This one's gonna be a quick one. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! <gasps> what are you doing? Hurry! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Is Simon going to kill himself? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially striking. Is this striking? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? What happened to Josh? Oh. I'm sorry. Simon. What happened to Simon? Uh, that's that's the guy's name. Oh, oh, oh. Simon, I don't... I didn't want to kill you. I really didn't want to kill you. I know North is just going to keep fucking hating me. But I can't keep making the bad decisions. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. But I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Hello, Connor. We're in the park still. Oh, wait, no. We're not. I have to report back to... to... to, to the queen. To Amanda. Where is she? Amanda's kind of mean. <laughs> She's kind of mean to me. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to talk to her. Last time we talked, she was like, you should do better, Connor. And I was like, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to, like, be so based, you know? Unfortunately, in times of trouble, I can only be as androidy as you need me to be, you know? Hello, Connor. I thought 
think you might enjoy a little cruise. Is she gonna push me underwater and kill me? This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. Hi, Viv. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviants. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Sorry, Queen. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm scared. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. No AI voice this time? Yeah! I have a human voice. I'm a person. If your investigation doesn't make <coughs> progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Uh oh. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. He fidgets. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? <laughs> a group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Wait, is Connor a robot? Yes. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the human. The humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Hmm. Roof. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. He said the thing. Androids investigating androids, huh? 
You sure you want an android hanging around? Huh. After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Oh. oh fucking prick. Ooh, I'll he bothers me. Ooh. You need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. I'm investigating my me. Oh, this is getting serious. model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Ooh, Connor's becoming more human. Like the like the title, Detroit Become Human. Oh my god, bro. It's like the game. Investigating crime scene that I was just a part of. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Yes, I I have no idea what how this happened. Hmm. What's wrong with Samsung robots? The foot went in front of it. I couldn't even see anything. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Incredible timing. They didn't break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Is there anything else? Little head in the bottom corner. Oh. <clears throat> okay. 
let's interrogate some androids. Hey guys. What's up? How we doing? Broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336 445 581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. I'm so bad at telling people apart. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I knew it was the first one. What? 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 Hank! Hank! I need help. Is there anything I can do? Can I do anything? How did he, how did he get that so fast? Holy shit. How did he like tear it out so fast? Holy, holy hell.
okay? I tried to stop it, but I was too late. Oh, God. At least Connor and Hank survived, but like they are fucking dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. No. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're back to our family fun time story, right? Right. See you, Viv. Smile. I hate doorbells that sound like that. They're my least favorite kind of doorbell. If I had to choose a favorite doorbell, it would not be that one. <laughs> hmm. Hi. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? They don't have a choice. Oh. This journey sure is arduous. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam. Will you show them upstairs? Can this be a nice place to stay? Maybe? Maybe? I would like just one situation where we don't have to worry about people betraying us at every time. The thing isn't coming up. There we go. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Across the border. Hi, Lucio. Welcome. 
You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Oh, is this actually safe? Oh. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Papa! Papa! <laughs> okay. This feels safe for at least now. I don't get bad vibes. Welcome back, Ginger Thomas. Is it Christmas? Is it Christmas time? Crimses? Crim Crimble? I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. I'm glad I'm not feeling sick either. Thank you. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border, no matter what. Mm. Please, you've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Hello? going on it's mary she just shut down
we escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Oh. What will I do without her? Let them be. Oh, fuck. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Oh. It's okay. Robots learn what grief feels like. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. <coughs> you all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. Nobody die, okay? Okay? We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Oh, shit. Uh... Sorry about Don't that. Mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight. I got the feeling he's gonna snitch. Same. I won't be long. I hope not. But given the situation. Oh God. I hope he doesn't either, but at the same time, like my life be like, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> It's Crimsus. Crimsus. Crimsus time. I love Crimsus time. What can I do? Hello. That's the father. Goodbye, father. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. I know you're not, though. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Alice is sick. Alice is sick. Uh. 
We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. Oh, oh. The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? What? They know we're here. We have to open the door. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Uh. Shit, what do I do? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's. There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any? Here? No, there are no androids here. Don't move! No, Luther! You're gonna have to finish the journey without me. What? No! No, 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 no. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. No. Oh. No. now we are really in it now okay the only way forward is through our broadcast is all over the news now humans know it was a mistake to reach out to them They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! And now what are we gonna do?
There are five cyber life stores across the country. All selling us like merchandise. Uh. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? Oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Oh God, another big heist. I hate this. I've been waiting a long time for this. I hate this. Oh God, okay. I just want to go ha back to happy, fun family time. Not even that was fun, though. Look, this way, quick. <clears throat> it's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Doors over here. Good God. I'm really hoping that we can pull this off and I don't fuck it up like the first one. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It is 10 minutes until all our teams attack. I hate these timers! What are you waiting for? Do you see the alarm system? Found it. Identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You are free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Okay. Doing important heist things. North, I'm literally Shit. gonna crush you. They're coming, Marcus! Marcus! Take cover! You see anything? No. Where the fuck is that drone? It was a class 3 alert, right? Yeah. 
when the signal stops suddenly. Another drone playing up the cold screws with them. Yeah, maybe. Now what? Calling patrol 975. Dispatch, this is patrol 975. Suspected robbery in progress at the warehouse on Jefferson and Walker. Jefferson and Walker? That's pretty far. It's outside our district. Sorry guys, there are no other patrols available. 10-4 dispatch, we're on our way. to you, Marcus. That was impressive. <gasps> okay. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What's going on? You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Great. If I was in a high situation like this, Looks I would like not have thought about that. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Find a truck. Okay. If you say so. Um, truck, 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 truck. Truck, where would a truck be? Uh, I only have 10 minutes. That's not a truck. Where the fuck would a truck be? Would it be in there? Where would I find a truck? Dude. Marcus, we need to look for the truck now. Okay, it's over there. Where is it, though? Maybe near the construction from earlier? But where's the construction? Okay. <clears throat> okay, it's, it's definitely back there. But she said that we need to find the truck. But what the... What the, what the, what the, what the, what the what are you saying? What are you saying? Mm. 
It's not over here, so where is it? I'm gonna cause so many problems. I'm literally going to literally disintegrate. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. Hi, Zooms. There it is. Are you- why are you trolling? Stop trolling in my chat. Leave me alone. How uppies. How uppies. How uppies. Get me in there. How uppies. What are we waiting for? We're gonna steal a truck, baby! Let's go! Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Hmm. Let's get this out of here. Ram the store. That was hitting too well. I was also confused. Well, you know what? At Looks least like we're, we're here. To make some noise. Oh god, I have to drive this thing? Good god, this sucks. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Don't kill any of the people in there, though. Alright. Let's wake up some people. Hello! Hello, dear angels. I'm here to make you feel better. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Welcome back, bitches! You are now... Free Will Unlocked. Okay. Let's get them out of here. Oh, she has trauma. Oh, she has so much trauma. Me too, girl. Probably not the same amount, but... My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who 
I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Woo! I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified. I'm l literally terrified. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. This is my park now. How do you hack a street light? <laughs> Yes. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. What do I do? Is there anything else that I can do? Marcus. Violence 
science is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand that I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Virtual flag? That's actually cool. I'm glad you think it's cool. You go uppies? Let's go uppies, baby! Woo! Scaling a building with my bros. Oh my goodness, I'm literally so excited. <laughs> Revolution! I don't even know what to do anymore. And now the time has come for you. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice.
What's going on? Oh god. North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? What? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. <laughs> you don't have to do this. No. It's up to you to decide. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores and are still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons this is an alarming situation could our machines now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States uh, I hate how realistic this game is because it 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 portrays public opinion and it portrays how even if you're trying to fight for your own rights, you'll still be painted as the villain. Oh my god. Oh my god. We'll do one or two more. Enough to get us to the three hour mark, and then I'll call it a night. Connor? He's alive. Good morning. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but seemed to be a good person. Yeah. Why are they doing this to me? Sorry, Lieutenant. <sighs> Fuck. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Oh. We're getting to the real part of the story and it's hitting me a little too hard. <laughs> oh my god! It's the woman! Hi. The one from the st opening screen. I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. 
Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Might as well investigate a little bit. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Hmm. Oh, hello. Elijah will see you now. Oh my god. There are more girls. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. He's in the pool? Is he in the pool? Oh my god. Oh my god. S responding to emails with sent from my hot tub. <clears throat> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What 
I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're a formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Mmm, hate that. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Why is he doing this? <clears throat> Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation? Or no, 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 no. Don't make me do this. You are. Don't make me do this. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Don't make me do this. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Ah! I can't. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Oh. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Uh -huh. you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. That was so uncomfortable, I know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> there is an ending where I fucking shoot her though. I don't want, I don't want to though, so. <laughs> all right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more chapter and then I'll call it a night, all right? Sound good for everybody? Oh, I have to enjoy some time alone? Do not worry. I'm good at that. I'm so good at that.
Ooh, me, um, that's me. I mean, in this plot line, I mean, wow. <gasps> piano, let's go. I love piano. <laughs> I love piano. I love piano. Music is good for the soul, I think. I was wondering where you were. North fucking hates me. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. Oh, you do, do you? Like being alone with the world. <coughs> we freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Lucio, everything feels so real. That's why I like it. But it also hurts so bad. <laughs> Welcome back, Simon. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Mark, it's, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show that we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The 
more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. free. Can we go up the stairs? Okay. No going up there. <laughs> I'm going to convert every every android on this damn street. Where do you think you're going? You're free. Hell yeah! Let's block the damn street. Oh, welcome in, Duke of Wellington. Pleasure to see you once again. Where's the manhole? That's what they call me. <laughs> That's a manhole. <laughs> Open manhole cover. Where is it? Hi, Rosie! <clears throat> Come on. He can do it telepathically now? Whoa. Oh, we are rallying. We are rallying. Let's... Fucking go! <laughs> Let's go, gamers! We are starting the revolution! <laughs> Let's go!
We are winning. We will win these. We will, we will make this country a better one. The people that I have fought for have done this before, and they'll do it again. I will not step back. Jesus fucking Christ. This bet is 12457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, Set hundreds. Us free. Thousands. Set us free. Set us free. Set us free. Get the marching out of street. If I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Fuck it! We're fighting! Attack! I'm tired. They're gonna kill us if we do nothing. We have to fight! We have to fight! Sometimes peace does nothing! I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm tired.
I've had enough. They will never see me mean business if we don't fucking fight for our rights. I think that's what I've learned. We tried the peaceful attempt, and that did nothing. Okay. Well, we have defeated the police. And that is a step forward for them. <clears throat> Let's check world stats. Man, that was heavy, yeah. 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 We don't want to be better. They just want to be equal. And that's the thing. They don't want to be better. They just want to be equal. They want to be on equal terms as humans are. The fight isn't to make anyone lesser than. That's the whole point. But for now, though, I think we'll call it a night. As they should be, they should be equal. Yes, exactly. If I were... If I were in this situation, I'd probably do the same. Uh... But for now, um, I am going to save what we have 
and um oh i was wondering are we friends it's asking me questions it's asking me questions um uh sure i agree there's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends right i mean i'm glad you said yes oh well hello josh welcome in i'm just about to end stream i'm really sorry i hope you can stick around for next time though um for now though um, I will be streaming again on Friday, uh, with a special guest, Fuji Fuji. Fuji, my lovely sister. We're gonna do a tier list, yay! I'm gonna go play Rain World to wind down before sleep time. That's a good idea. I'm very, I'm very happy, um, that you have a game to wind down to. I need to wind down as well. I took a shower before stream, and I need to just lay down for several hours <laughs> i'm exhausted i was out all day today uh, but yeah um i hope you guys have a lovely day night or whatever time it is for you um i hope you guys get some good rest whenever you do and as always you are loved wanted and appreciated hopefully i'll see you on friday um have a good time until then <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>